we want to determine if the infinite series converges or diverges. Taking a look at our infinite sum, notice that the formula, or a sub n, contains five to the power of n and n factorial. Whenever we have an exponential or a factorial, the ratio test is normally the test that we should apply. To apply the ratio test, we want to find the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n. Then based upon the value of this limit, or L, we can determine if the series converges, diverges, or if the test fails. So for a review, if L is less than one, then the series converges. If L is greater than one, then the series diverges. And if L equals one, the test fails, and we have to apply a different test. And notice that since N starts at one and increases to positive infinity, this will always be positive, and therefore we can ignore the absolute value. Let's go and set up our limit. We'll have the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n plus one, so we'll substitute n plus one for n. So we'll have n plus one times five to the power of n plus one divided by n plus one factorial so there's a sub n plus one divided by a sub n, which is just n times five to the n divided by n factorial. So we have this top fraction divided by the bottom fraction, which we can also write as a multiplication problem if instead of dividing by the bottom fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the top fraction and then instead of dividing by the bottom fraction, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So it's going to be times, we'll have n factorial on top and then n times five to the n on the bottom. Now before we multiply, we want to simplify. Let's first look at five to the power of n plus one and five to the power of n. Five to the power of n plus one has one more factor of five than five to the n. So this simplifies to one, this simplifies to one factor of five. And now let's expand n plus one factorial. So we can write n plus one factorial. The first factor would be n plus one the next factor would be just n, since n plus one minus one is equal to n. So the remaining factors would just be n factorial. Notice in this form, n factorial over n factorial simplifies to one, and now we can find this product. This is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity. Top it, we just have five times n plus one. That's gonna be five n plus five. On the bottom, we just have n plus one times n, which would be n squared plus n. Notice in this form, we can determine this limit. Notice the degree of the numerator is one, the degree of the denominator is two, and since the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, this limit is equal to zero, since the denominator is increasing faster than the numerator. And since this limit is equal to zero, and zero is less than one, our series converges. So let's go ahead and summarize this by the ratio test. Since the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n is equal to zero, which is less than one, our given series converges. I hope you found this helpful.